Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Heart of Iron 4 on veteran difficulty as the Germans. Welcome back. Um, I did a couple of things in between episodes. I basically pulled all our fighter planes out of all the airports that we had. Um, and I've put them basically over here in northern, uh, into northern France um, so that we have a huge amount of planes in the English Channel. I also sent a couple of them into, this, into southern England and a good amount of them into the North Sea. So um, this should actually be happening. We've sent the, um, the fleets up there, haven't we? Um, so we should have our our fleets in there in Wilhelmshaven. Well, it doesn't look like it. Well, maybe they're, they're getting there. Fighting over here with the Atlantics. But yeah, we're basically in in full assault um, towards, um, towards England. Um, we should be getting there. We've got 2,000 fighter planes now. Um, they got 2,100. And I think they will be forced to split them a bit because I've started bombarding southern England so that should be not too great for them yeah we're actually we're getting there 1600 2000 we're producing a good amount of fighters we can't produce them as fast as they can destroy them yeah we're now down one unit but we're producing 40 per day so that could be okay yeah there's the the French fleet that is still pretty heavy in there carrier uh, a couple destroyers, a couple cruisers. It could be worse. Um, basically, we got um, all our naval bombers in here. We got all the close air support in here. We got uh, tactical bombers in here. I got the older fighter types in France. And then I got a huge amount of fighters over here in the English Channel. And I also sent some over here to, to defend northern northern Germany. I actually I don't have any in the Benelux region. I guess I have to rectify that. I don't have any fighters anymore. Crap. Oh well. We're gonna survive. They don't have any fighters to spare either. So yeah, they're down to a thousand. Um, yeah, they they had to pull some fighters. Um, Portugal capitulated. I guess that's because we took their African colonies. Yeah, they had to pull off some fighters to, to defend that area, I guess. Uh, which gives us a bit of a respite. Destroyed a destroyer over there. Another destroyer gone. Another destroyer gone. Some some planes have been shot down. And the light cruiser has gone. Nothing happened over there. Um, where are my ships? Where are my ships? I sent them all to Wilhelmshaven. At least I think I did. Who dares wins? Oh, did I not do that? No, I guess I wanted to do that in this episode. Okay. So, we're gonna send the um, Western Mediterranean fleet to Wilhelmshaven. Um, I wanna send... Yeah, these guys. Want them over there. Then we are going to use the um, the sea wolves to come over there. And then we're gonna use um, the black sea black sea fleet to come in here. So we're gonna we're gonna start a full on um, submarine assault on the on their channel fleet. Um, okay, we're done with the excavation. I'm well. I could do it, but I'm I'm not short on on resources. That's gonna be done soonish. Let's go for that one. Night vision. It's not it's not too bad. Um, yeah, we're losing some some planes over here. That's gonna be fine. How's the air superiority? Oh yeah, we do have air superiority here now. Um, we're still fighting for for that area. But we're getting there. Yes. Nice. Um, paratroopers. We're going to go for the last level of paratroopers. I'm not sure if I can really do it. 
before we attack over there. Um, what is happening with these guys? Are they... Yeah, they're nearly there. Then we're gonna combine them, send them up to start our invasion of, um, of England. I really want to, I really want to finish this series. <laughs> it's been going on for a long time and uh, it's like the uh, Pareto uh, principle after the, um, after the economist, Wilfredo Pareto. Um, it's basically for the last, it's it's the 80-20 rule. For the last 20% you need 80% of the effort and that's clearly what's happening here. So let's combine these two armies. I'm gonna select all and then we are going to I guess we can send them from this port come over here to Beirut oh we don't have enough convoys now I guess we're losing convoys um, ooh nice 29 destroyers are gone I wonder why the Portuguese are still fighting on though it's kind of pointless um, no, let's actually, let's actually send them over here, um, to Flanders, yeah, Flandern, that's gonna be okay. So how's it looking? We've got superiority here, and, well, we don't have it over there, but we're getting there, and we're bombarding them. Uh, we lost one of our aces, that's fine, we've got another ace pilot. And we shot down a British ace. That's all fine and dandy. Okay, another ace pilot. We're getting a lot of them because we have a lot of wings in this area. Lost some submarines. Lost another submarine. <laughs> I'm gonna lose a lot of submarines here. Okay, so we got these three fleets now. Um what we want to do is we want to go for search and destroy they all have the split of enabled I don't think I want to do that well maybe though uh, yeah search and destroy in this region and in this region and I think that's fine and the other the other three regions over here are being patrolled by our main fleet, so that should be okay. And then we shall see what actually what actually happens. We lost another ace pilot, lost a submarine, lost a submarine, lost a submarine. Yeah, we're losing submarines left, right, and center. Still, that's not good. Maybe I should just leave the submarines in. Oh, we lost the air superiority here. Where do they get all these planes from? That's pretty bad though. Yeah, I gotta I gotta pull back the, the fleets. <laughs> I gotta pull back those fleets or we're gonna we're gonna lose all of them. Although maybe yeah, they are here to they are here to fight. Yeah, this is this is kinda stupid. We're losing all the submarines. I guess they do have very good radar stations in the area. Yeah, this is nonsense. Let's take... Uh, let's take them back. I haven't changed their home ports either. So that's, that's particularly stupid. So let's return. Um... So these guys, they're already, they're returning. Um, then we need the uh, Schwarzmeer Flotte. You're gonna have this as your base as well. Return, and the Sea Wolves this is gonna be your base. Return. As long as we don't have the air superiority in the English Channel, it just doesn't make any sense. I wonder why we don't have it. Where do they get their fighters from? I mean, I guess it's um, the combined fighter fleet of um, all the allied forces. So I guess uh, they got Sweden's fighters and Poland's fighters and all that. Which is kind of weird, but oh well. I guess they could fly that stuff over. I guess it's 
technically possible. Lost three submarines against a couple of destroyers. I guess those guys were trying to repair because I hadn't changed the home port yet. Ooh, and we've got a better radar now. Uh, let's go for the next level of radar. And now we also have to increase our radar stations around the coast. I really want that. Should have gone for that way sooner. Okay. And obviously I have to push these up. Um, so... Create me my radar stations. Go on. Lost more submarines. Uh, well, that looks like it. That looked like it's uh, like it's the um, the final status. <laughs> we lost our fighters. I mean, I could pull some fighters from over here into the English Channel. I'm not sure that's gonna help. Still got some fighters in Oberbayern. And some in Provence, some in Madrid. Hmm. Yeah, South Africa. This area doesn't look too good. The enemy has air superiority. Um. These guys, I should actually send them. I should actually send them down. They're of no use to us anymore up there. So. Let's bring him down here. Let's give him the order to take the rest of the African continent. And let's make it happen right now. Okay. Killed some convoys. How's it looking? No. Can't get the English Channel back. This is bad. This is really bad. Hmm, I mean, they're down as well. They're down as well. We've got some, some active bombers bombing their, their industry. We'd really like to get some port strikes going. But at least we, we brought down their, their amount of fighters quite a bit. So... As long as they don't have the superiority, I might actually send my, um, my fleets in there nonetheless. So these are these are, are not the detached ones, I don't think. No. I could let them return and merge. Let's go for search and destroy in the English Channel with these guys. And let's see what comes of it. Um and then we're going to use the sea wolves to search and destroy in the North Sea. And the Black Sea fleet, um, you're going to search and destroy. I guess over here as well. So let's see how that goes. I guess we're going to lose a lot of our submarines, but we can produce them. Oh, do we... Um, what about our naval... What about our naval things? Are they gonna... be automated? No, they all still have their destination. So that's actually fine. And we got three military factories. Very nice. We're gonna dedicate these guys to... more fighters. Obviously. So... Um, let's go for more fighters. And even more jet fighters. Building a lot of a lot of things simultaneously. And we're getting some factories done. How many fighters are we building? 45 per day. We still have a lot of resources to go. We could, we could um, pump up the production uh, way more. Another ace fighter. Yeah, this is pretty bad. We're losing the submarines without actually 
having stuff happen. 1,158 bombers over there. Hmm. Yeah, this is madness. This is total madness. We can't do it. No, this is the wrong fleet. Um, where is it? Oh, was one fleet destroyed? Sea Wolfish, Wardsmere Flotte. And yeah, let's return. Yeah. The last fleet has been destroyed, I guess. Where are you? You're repairing down there. Yeah, your home port should be... Should be Visa M's. Yeah, that was... That was useless. Um... Guess these guys need a commander, so let's give them Wilhelm Marshall. These guys lost the convoy. Can't seem to get the air superiority here. It's not a lot of enemy fighters. It's it's uh, nip and tuck. Back and forth all the time. They got no fighters over here, and they got only. What, 700 again? Maybe I'm still not managing to um, to hit them enough. And their support lines. So I lost another submarine. Guess that's okay. It was to be expected if you move through the channel. I mean, we got radar as well. There's no way we can actually successfully pull off a paratrooper drop. And we also can't cross the channel as of yet. I guess I, I guess I have to stop this. I guess I have to stop my air attack again. Because we're we're not even able to to produce the fighters back that we need. We still got a thousand fighters, and we got fifty. I mean, I I could leave them in there. And now we're producing more military factories again. But I guess we won't be going for those. Um, I guess we won't be going for those dockyards. It's just not a thing. Would like to cancel all constructions of this type. That is not in there as a shortcut. I can only cancel everything that I'm that I'm building, which I'm not willing to do, because that means losing a lot of progress. But I gotta get. Gotta get rid of all these things. Really seems like this um, war will be decided in the sky, not on sea. Which is quite different to the um, to the Napoleonic War, which was decided on sea. Napoleon took um, all of the continent. I mean, yeah, you could say that the Napoleonic War was not decided on sea, but I think the um, British Navy actually help to to keep the Brits alive but yeah we destroyed a uh, good amount of, of British ships by now I mean they still have a um, couple of dockyards but I doubt that they have much oil or other stuff to efficiently build things it's just really annoying that they have so many fighters and we aren't really able to to stop their fighters. Worries me a bit because I don't really understand how they're able to rebuild them. Let's, well, let's push these up, those des destroyed factories. Hong Kong, Sofia. I guess those are resistance uh, stuff that gets destroyed. Oh, it was destroyed when we when we took those places over. Okay, that looks all right. Yeah, this is hopeless. Thirteen hundred and fifty-six, and I was so happy. <laughs> well, at least we can we can bomb this area, 
I wonder if we'd be able to to drop uh, a division of paratroopers over here because we do have the superiority in this region not here though now they split their now they split their air fleets no nope, it's not gonna happen not gonna happen sadly hmm I wonder if I should go for the um, for the next level jet plane. I have such an amount of resources. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go up to to high speed. Uh, we're just gonna produce um, jet fighters like crazy. I don't think there's anything um, else to do. I mean, we we have a crap ton of factories. We just have to we just have to brute force it. And they they're still controlling the regions that are important for a um, naval invasions. I mean, I could try to I could try try to um, take control over southern England. It's really weird that they are able to produce so many fighters. I can't quite believe that they have the resources for it anymore. And they can't stockpile them. Mm, battlefield support. Okay, so that's done. We don't have anything to research in here anymore. I guess it would have been better to go for... Um, strategic destruction. No. I guess I would have liked a fighter thingy. A fighter focus. This will still take a long time to research, so it's basically out of the question. This will only increase our rockets. Fleeting the Panzerfaust, improved guided missile. Hmm. Not sure if these are really the, the way to go. I don't think so. Industry. Yeah, I could go for more resources. But I already have resources coming out of um, every crevice. Let's go for let's go for the support battalion improvement. And I guess I have to end it. Well, it seems like I haven't managed to really cut off their supply lines enough that they are not able to um, to continuously build fighters they're still able to supply to supply those areas with a lot of fighters which annoys me I guess they are being I guess they're still gaining a lot of resources from this area and I think Australia must help them let's have a look at the resources in that area Australia is fairly poor in terms of resources they still have a lot of rubber in that area i guess the i didn't really want to do it but i guess i have to take these areas away from the netherlands because they are fueling that what why do we have that area that's weird guess we take guess we took that from from portugal hmm interesting Oh yeah, I guess I guess we gotta do that. Maybe use my maybe use my first um, Falsche Jäger core. Although they are they are here now, which is kind of shitty. Let's train them up. Um, these guys still haven't gotten their other Falsche Jäger. Let's deploy them. The rest of them are already regulars. So what I'm thinking is... I'm gonna take 27 of the... Uh, 24 of these. Yeah, 24 of these. Let's give them to him. And we're going to... To give the inexperienced guys, it would be really be nice if I could just um, mouse over it while clicking and they would select. That is preferable for me. 
So okay, these 24. I'm gonna give them to the um, to that unit, so they can be trained up. Now we got 24 experienced, um, or at least regular paratroopers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send them back <laughs> all the way um, over here to take him over. It's gonna take a while, but. Um, I guess I have no chance but to take away their rubber so they can't um, produce the fighters to defend them. I mean, I can't really touch Canada. At the moment, at least, I can't. These guys are still not too happy. Yeah, and I, because I basically destroyed the Allies, they don't really have a reason to be my friend anymore. Which doesn't really help. Um, but yeah, I guess I gotta end it here. Um, our first attack on Britain failed. I mean, we had some results. We definitely brought down the amount of fighters that they have. Uh, what are we reckoning? What? We're reckoning that they have 13,000 to 24,000 planes? Really? That sounds a bit excessive. I wish I could improve the quality of my um, intelligence. But I don't think that's really how this works. They don't have a lot of industry. The only way that I can um, imagine that they get through this is uh, with them being supplied from... What? Really? Is Great Britain uh, that rich in resources? That looks kind of weird. But okay. What's, a, what's, what's going on in Canada? Hmm, Canada doesn't have a lot of resources, so I doubt that they are the main supplying factor. It could be that these guys are, are doing it, which would be very annoying. Guaranteeing the independence of a bunch of nations. Can't really imagine that they are helping Great Britain because they don't like them. Brazil... Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, it really has to be um, that area down here. What's it with New Zealand? New Zealand does also not have anything. Well, some chromium over here. What's that? That's France. France's capital is now in New Caledonia. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Yeah, well, got to take... Got to take away the, the rest of their support stuff and then they won't be able to build any more fighters and we can finally finish them off. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.